Hi viewers, welcome back to Watermills Yard. I guess this is going to be a YJB twin jib crane special. Um, I think we'll take a look at the two cranes that I've built over the last 11 months. We've seen the steady progress of this crane over the last 11 months. Um, it's quite a complex delivery to do with the Balfour BT with, with so many colours there and a lot of time spent masking and several visits to the spray booth as well. But uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with how the models come out. This is a 4mm scale kit by Make Your Mark Models. If you have a look on Google, it should pull uh, Mark's website up. As far as uh, kits go with instructions, the instructions for this crane and this uh, 12 ton crane I did uh, some time ago are absolutely superb. I'll just uh, quickly show you them uh, instructions. This is one of the pages for uh, the instructions uh, showing you how to build the jib up. It's very easy to uh, follow photos showing you exactly where all your parts need to go. The best instructions I've ever seen in a kit. Absolutely superb. This is page six of the instructions and very quickly the, the models uh, looking almost finished but uh, every single part has uh, got an arrow pointing to uh, exactly where it needs to go. Coming back to uh, the model itself now, um, I've just added a little bit of extra detail on it. You can just see the uh, hydraulic uh, pipes there coming off the pump being fed into this block and then going up into the, uh, into the boom there. I'll take a quick look around this model now. The cab's uh, nicely detailed. Maybe I should get a figure sorted out to uh, to put in that. The wasp stripes there on the counterweight are quite uh, quite difficult to do. To, to get the same angle on each one, mass that up, it's uh, quite tricky that. And uh, the ones on the buffer beam there, I've done them, uh, masked them up, but painted them by hand. You just see the uh, little lights there on the back, this, this handrail system here. It's quite a bit of handrail around the uh, the model. You see the uh, fuel tanks there, the uh, little green uh, jerry cans there for keeping the fuel in. These uh, cranes are pulled around by locomotives but are actually self propelled on the job site. This is the other side of the model. You just see the exhaust pipe there picked out in silver and the two uh, carrying cradles there in yellow. They are a very versatile crane on the network and uh, they carry many different things into, uh, into job sites. This is the model with the jib swung out and uh, they'll carry sections of track in and out of the job site and I've also seen another attachment that fits onto these jibs which runs the length of the crane and it just has wires hanging down two wires and they're connected to uh, concrete sleepers and I guess the, the uh, place these uh, big lengths of just concrete sleepers straight onto fresh ballast with these uh, cranes I know they're very versatile on the network and uh, there's a lot of liveries for these cranes ranging from BR Yellow right up to Balfour BT and Volker Rail. So there's, there's plenty of choice. I've just turned the model around again so we can see these counterweights with the wasp stripes down the back. It's quite tricky to get the angle on these wasp stripes right. I think it looks, uh, I think it looks well. Thinking of building the diorama just for the crane, we'll have other stuff on it as well, but uh, I think it looked quite nice uh, 
looking like it's working on a section of track that's been removed and have the grey in uh, carrying that section of track out or something along them lines anyway but uh, that's something I'm thinking about anyway I've just packed this crane away now ready for transport I think it's time to take a look at the other crane now okay this crane is the second one I've done and this is the first time you guys have seen it it's a very plain livery compared to the Balfour BT livery but uh, nevertheless very striking there are some differences um, in this crane uh, which aren't on the Balfour BT crane this black and white livery is the livery of Volker Rail there are no current transfers available yet um, but I'll have to get some custom made for, for the crane there are a few differences on this crane um, and, and on the back here we've got this uh, yellow toolbox and there's one on each end of this crane I've picked out the hydraulic hoses again there in white and we can just see the air intake for the engine sits on top of it on, on this crane and there's also this uh, stanchion support for the jib to uh, rest on when it's in transit that's at one end only, it's not on the other end we just see the other toolbox there fitted both the cranes with KD number 19s wasn't much work involved to uh, get them at the correct height for the uh, KDs to work this is the other side of the model the counterweight uh, markings on this Volker rail livery are slightly different than the Balfour BT one as well I'm really pleased with uh, how both the models have turned out nice to get this one finished with all the transfers on there but it's going to take a bit of time here are the two models now side by side on Watermills Yard. The layout itself has had nothing done on it now for for almost two years. And uh, I think this back end I'm going to put the uh, kit built into one side and concentrate on getting the uh, layout uh, finished off to, uh, to, to a certain degree. I'll just finish off any existing uh, models over the summer period I think and uh, put my kit build into one side for a bit and concentrate on the layout. I'd like to thank everybody who's rated, everyone who's commented and everybody who's subscribed to the channel. Thanks for watching. Catch you soon.